Shalom. My name is Yeshua Yaakov ben Abraham. I'm making this uh, video from Jerusalem. And the subject of the video is uh, really about God raising up uh, those who are, are loyal and faithful and serve, uh, serve God. And um, uh, the God of Israel raised up Barack Obama. And uh, he has subsequently raised up uh, uh, Joe Biden and uh, John McCain and more recently he's raised up uh, Sarah Palin even higher than the other three and she deserves it. Uh, who am I? I'm Yoshua Yaakov. I'm a didactic scientist, uh, the author of the trilogy, Humanomics, about 2,500 pages, a few hundred graphics that will be published on the internet in the next uh, uh, year or so. Um, when the lawyers get off uh, the dime and deliver the, uh, the work products that are needed. Uh, okay, uh, really, uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, about being raised up, uh, I know a little bit about uh, the subject. Um, let's see, let's go back in time to, uh, Oh, let's say 38, 39 years back, um, uh, as a young man, I started a business. I went to Washington, and I saw uh, what I saw. And I can remember what struck me most. This is a place that has no fear of God in it. Uh, and uh, there were many opportunities inviting me, and I said, I want no part of it. Um, as the saying goes, show me a man. Uh, have a, when a man tells you, who he walks with, uh, I can tell you who he is and uh, and what he is. Okay, um, so uh, I saw the corruption uh, and the self-interest and the uh, the greed of Washington, and uh, I stayed away from it. So I worked uh, in the private sector, uh, providing uh, service, uh, consulting services, mostly strategic uh, consulting services, uh, teaching uh, uh, corporations management uh, the value of information as a strategic asset in the way in which it was to be used and leveraged to uh, to differentiate uh, uh, their their strategical. Um, uh, designs, the strategic designs to differentiate between signal and noise and uh, what the, the requisite organizational methods and technologies that had to be converged to produce the transformational results that were possible uh, from a new economic paradigm that was certain to emerge. And they said, well, how do you know it will emerge? I said, because I'm working on it. And they said, well, what is this uh, new paradigm? And I said, it's the new economic paradigm. And, uh, and they said, what is it by name? And I said, it's the integration of labor. And that was in, uh, back in 1969. And I was a little bit ahead of my time. <laughs> well, today, if you Google, uh, you'll get a million, um, uh, uh, you'll get a million um, uh, whatever uh, links on Google. And uh, the context is uh, humanomics, uh, the trilogy. If you Google humanomics, uh, you'll get another uh, large number. And if you Google Receive and Give, which is the central organizing principle of humanomics, you'll get 63 million. Uh, and you'll get a million for integration of labor, another half a million and a quarter of a million for Yeshua. Okay, so what am I saying? I'm not bragging on myself. I am saying simply this. The God of the cosmos is the God of Israel, and he's the one who raised up Barack Obama, and he's raised up uh, Sarah Palin even higher. Uh, look, uh, let's say it's simple. John is fielding a good offense. And that good offense is, uh, you know, we can net net say it very simply. The one closest to God is blessed. I know a lot about that. And uh, uh, she has the high moral ground. Her test was far greater than Barack Obama's. And uh, it's all relative, of course, but she has the moral high ground. And uh, let's put the context to it. Uh, Barack Obama blinked first when the TV minister asked Barack Obama, uh, when does the fetus have civil rights? He said to answer this question with specificity, 
Uh, it's above my pay grade. He blinked first, and, and John McCain came by uh, five minutes later into the same uh, venue, the same question. He said instantly, at the moment of conception, I would differentiate because conception has, there is in, the, in, in our Torah, uh, in Judaism, uh, and in particular, it's um, uh, Kabbalah, there is a moment of spiritual conception and there is a moment of physical conception. I would choose the, the latter uh, at, the, at the moment of spiritual conception. So I don't want to split hairs. John gave a good answer. And the next day, after Barack Obama's answer showed that he blinked, here comes, here comes a tough guy who knows how to throw, who knows how to throw uh, a fastball and a slider and mix him up. <laughs> John, like, well done, John. <laughs> he comes and he says, meet Sarah Palin. Now, boom! <laughs> uh, he slammed that one at about uh, Nolan Ryan fastball. Blue right by. And sit down, Barak. <laughs> and okay, so uh, I want to put in perspective things. These, the real purpose of this video is I bless John McCain. In Kabel Bishfilatet receive it to give. I will vote for John McCain because the 99 plus percent of the logic of voting is the moral high ground that the one who is uh, loyal to the tenets of the creator of the cosmos it doesn't matter whether you're Christian, Protestant, Jew, Muslim, okay, that's the high moral ground. And here comes Sarah Palin. I vote for Sarah Palin. Barack Obama, I love him. He's a wonderful young man, uh, and I blessed him. But I'm I'm now decided as to who I will vote for. If he convinces me that uh, he has positions in respect of life and the high moral and and a higher moral ground than uh, than Sarah Palin and John McCain, uh, I could change my mind again. But the probability of that is, I think, a bit low. In fact, it's very low. Having said that, uh, that is my, my reason, and uh, I will just conclude with uh, the God of the cosmos uh, has rewarded uh, Yoshua Yaakov, that's me, and he's raising me up after I've been in exile for 22 years in the land of exiles and lived in the extreme uh, compromised circumstances after a big nine-room house, three cars, uh, uh, a net worth of uh, all of, uh, you know market cap uh, tens of millions of dollars etc cetera, etc cetera. I lived on uh, a wing and a prayer for the last decade here in Israel after my capital ran out but this is where I received from the God of the cosmos to come and serve and I have and I did I planted my feet firmly and here is where I stand okay so uh, myself Sarah and our two boys we live on $702 a month in Social Security after having served the American people for the better part of 45 years. And the new economic paradigm is the transformational solution. It is the new economic, it will transform the structure of the American economy. I produced this. And uh, ask not what you can do for you. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I have and I've delivered. And, uh, and this is being close to God. It's listening first and only to the creator of the cosmos. Then you will hear, you will see, and you will comprehend who the authentic you is. That's Yoshua Yako from Jerusalem. That's why I'm voting for John McCain and Sarah Palin, and I bless them in Kabel Bishfilatet. And with that blessing, they will win the election. Okay, that means receiving to give. Receiving what? Receiving the authentic you. To give the authentic you. To who? The authentic you, of course. Your children, your unborn children, your children, your family, your community, your nation, and to all mankind. Thank you for listening.